Peacock Lane is basically a, a street of a bunch of crazy people who decided that they want to keep a tradition going. We've been doing this for over 50 years. It's absolutely amazing. For the first weekend, it's usually we close the streets. It's pedestrian walking only. It's pretty busy, you know, it's, it's a sea of people for a good five hours. We work year round like the elves and we get ready to put our lights up. And when we do, uh, this is the result. What's going on today? We can't do it alone and we need all kinds of people. People who've done it before, people with strong backs. <laughs> this is our fourth Christmas. We've really been here three years just, but we count things by Christmases here. Their listing said famous Peacock Lane and called my daughter-in-law and said, what do you know about this? And she said, oh my God, <laughs> Peacock Lane. There's no covenants, there's no you have to. The first day after we moved in, people from the lane came up to us with wine and said, you are going to put lights on, aren't you? <laughs> so there's a lot of social pressure, but nothing that in any rules that say you have to. Tell me what you need when you need it. There's a lot of speculation that, oh gosh, it started in 1929 or whatever, but we can't prove that. We know that one particular person wanted to enter some lighting competition and then eventually the rest of the lane got involved. There are generations that say, well, when I was a little kid, my parents brought me here and so I bring my kids now or my grandkids. I bought the house in 1992. The Grinch came with it. He's about eight feet tall. He's white because the original book showed him as white, not like the movie and the cartoons would show him as green. He did get his head broken off when he was vandalized one year. A kind of disguise where the break was by a large red bow. I just love Christmas and I love the holiday cheer and I love being part of um, part of the community and part of the village that is Peacock Lane. But I'm Jewish and I love Hanukkah as well, so I actually have a whole Hanukkah theme here. Because we have to work together to make it happen, you know, there's permits and there's lane closures and decorations go up and there's a lot of um, behind the scenes logistics that has to happen to make this to make this work and so that means we all know each other. It's just such a wonderful community here. Everybody knows everybody else and we all help each other. It takes so much working together and helping each other. I think if more neighborhoods could be like this we'd have less problems. Ha, ha, ha.